All right, hi everybody. It is Bonkai 922. Psychopath 2 time. Okay, now chances are because of this episode, I've, it's come to my knowledge that the I guess you can call him the villain, whatever you want to call this guy. I might be doing a discussion video on this anime. And basically doing a comparison of the two what you could say two villains anti-heroes from both seasons on the first hand you got makishima and on the second hand you got this guy kamui but when they showed they said what his full name was i was like no fucking way that's just fucking stupid oh his name's kirito what like what kirito Kairaito? But hey, you know, it, it is what it is. But the for beginning of this episode, holy shit. Because as you remember, he took an inspector. Hostage. Yeah. He, he did some pretty fucked up shit to her. That, that was pretty fucked up. You know what he did? Took out her fucking eye. And had her eye looking at her. And then had the Dominator strapped in front of her, pointing at her, while she's holding on to the trigger. That was so fucked up. But, I like this episode. This this episode, um, gives us some more interesting details. You know what I'm liking a lot? Togane. The enforcer who is, let me close my door. Um, the Enforcer, who apparently is new. Well, there's Togane, and then there's this other guy. But I really dig Togane. He, um... We also find out that he has, like, the highest co crime coefficient? Ever? That blew my mind. But, now, there's some interesting details. Now, this guy, Kamui, pfft, He, basically, what he's doing... I'm noticing this... Because it's really shown in this episode. He's making everyone, you know, the hero, you could say, by, you know, dropping their... See, what he's doing is he's getting everyone's psychopaths lowered to the point where they're invisible. Literally. Now, he's not the same as Makishima, because here's the thing. Makishima... Well, it's sort of the same. Makishima, he couldn't be judged by a dominator, by a Sibley, the Sibley system. The same thing could be said about this guy, but what this guy is doing is he's going around and he's making people like him, essentially. He's dropping their coefficient all the way down, so they're like invisible. So he's like getting like a cult following going on here. Now, um... And basically what happens towards the end, we find out. And another thing I'm a little sick and tired of is this other inspector, Mina, whatever her fucking name is. She's, she's getting on my nerves. Like, to the point where I say, okay, if she dies, I give no fucks. Get that bitch out of here. Because she's very fucking annoying. She's like, eh, senpai. She keeps snapping her fingers and shit. And I'm like, hey, um... You're new here, right? So why don't you shut the fuck up and just do your job instead of mouthing off uh, on Akane? Like, back your fuck up, bitch. She's a real bitch. She really is. She's very bitchy. She keeps complaining to Akane. Like, jump the fuck off. But overall rating, I have to give this a four and a half out of five. Now, we'll see how this goes, but he's turning everyone, their, their coefficients all the way down. And he's like, I'm going to be like Kamui. And you think about that name. Kamui. That name just spills. Holy shit out all over the place. Because I believe Kamui means God. So, and it's just, it's just in your face. It's like, God damn. That's such a badass name. But his first name is Kirito. Uh, I, I can't live with it. I can't live with it. But, 
Um, this is going in a good direction. I, I did not expect that this is what was going to go down in Psycho Pass. I didn't expect that this new villain, or anti-hero, if you will, was going to go down this path. Like, he was going to... He was going to do all these different um, scenario-listic things, all these different things that, uh, you know, it's just not, and here's the thing, like, he's fucked up in a way, but when you think about it, he's kind of doing them a favor. <laughs> I don't know, I don't, I don't want to support, you know, support it, but, like, he's dropping everyone's coefficient down. He really is, he's, he's helping them. So... It's like, you know, he, he makes it in a way. And also what I noticed from this guy, from, from this episode is he's trying to get some people, I guess you could say inspectors, take, rip them away from the Sibley system. So, uh, and I don't think he's going to be the same like Mikishima, because Mikishima really took in the action forward and he went really crazy. With what he was doing. But like I said, I believe this is Akane's Makishima. That's what it is. There's no. We haven't seen Kogami. And that's another thing that I'm a little upset about. Hopefully, we see Kogami. Hopefully, he shows up down the series. But we haven't seen him yet. And I'm thinking to myself, is he dead or not? But supposedly, he's supposed to show up. So I'm. I'm I'm taking that to the effect. But this guy is definitely Akane Shiki Makishima. He's, he is similar to Makishima in some ways. And she's obviously going to have to figure out how to stop this guy. How to stop what he's doing and everything. Even though, you know, I got no qualms about it. He's bringing down people's coefficients. But at the same time, they're all cuckoo. Because now they're like, I'll be a hero for Cowboy. This is old guy. He's beating the shit out of this. The one from Second Division. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> that was fucked up. But good episode. Four and a half out of five. Um, You see like the influence. This Kamui guy is no joke. He's influencing. He already influenced like two people. So, you know, it keeps going. It keeps fucking going. Also, I forgot to mention. I really liked it, this part in this episode. The guy from season one. You know, the, the, the guy who helped out Kogami and everything. He showed up. Um, we see him in uh, prison, an isolation chamber. And he's talking to um, Akane. Uh, he's in the isolation chamber, apparently, because he helped out Kogami. Well, he actually went there himself because he helped out Kogami. So, that was a whole bit on that. But yeah, that's pretty much the story. Bonkai 922. I will see you guys later. Other reviews to come up are Maggie and One Piece, and I'm going to upload a comment chapter, and I'm going to do a fate. So, look forward to that. I'm Barkan Nitro 2. I will catch you guys later. Kamui. I'm not going to mention his first name, because his first name is GAY! <laughs> hey. Hey. Kairai Toe is not appreciative in this scenario. Kamui? Yeah. Kairai Toe? No, no. See you guys later.